Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a paddle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other crime activities. crime to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get yourself. me out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Welcome yeah. to hell, new boys. Ah, yes, baby. Baby. That's right, welcome to my yeah. life. <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> Ooh, look at the that. federal pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters, they were all on. here. Come on, the yeah. worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Problems, you son of a bitch! Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no, back please. in line. No. no. Hey, smart ass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told.
Listen, pretty boy, if you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. Smell you new fish. And Welcome you smell home. Good. Get in. Lights out and be quiet, assholes. If you know what's good for you. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard, so that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? Step back! Okay, Did you hear me? Break it Get out of here! To use Move it! We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Rito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh, 
So what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> There's no happen if you use tiger style. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galanti. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Ah. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me harder than that. Your little ah. cracker going down. <laughs> Let's go, Vito. Put these bums oh. back in their place. <laughs> Lion! Now, ah. Vito, grab him and finish him off. All right, kid. Now put his lights out. Oh, this boy got as ah. much chance of winning as a brother running for president. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... 
You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. <laughs> It's fire. <coughs> Do that again. Oh, fuck, this guy's a fighter, huh? <coughs> this could have been so much easier. <coughs> oh. Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and, uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! Ah. Again, harder! Uh. Nice shot, Mary! No guard. Oh. Me ma used to hit harder than that. Uh. Is that all you've got? Oh. Ah. This time I'll finish you! Uh. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have 
to do better than that, little girl! I don't think so. Try again, little man. Oh. Shut the fuck up, bitch. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to working for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other? Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place.
Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Don't let me keep you, sir. I'm sure you have a lot to do, and I have to wait here for another client. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad, nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal, Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching down. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, <sighs> yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! Huh? 
is alive. <laughs> Hey, oh, oh, I'm, I'm going home. Good night, you whores. All right, we're here. Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> God damn it, no shoes. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. <clears throat> ah, oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long has this guy been in here, Reddy? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. That's oh, just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. <laughs> Finally done. <sighs> Okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help oh, here. Fine, either. whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. We'll you had enough, some Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. <laughs> get to Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me in a rotten jail. That's good. Because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. Fucking 
smart. <laughs> Think you're so fucking smart, huh? Go ahead, try. Son of a bitch. What's he doing over there? Ah, shit! Ah, oh, Come here, you ah, fuck. Leave me alone! Yeah, like I'll show you what it feels no, like, wait, you no, 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 fucking son of a bitch! I'm gonna have a little fun with Luca before I grind him up. Wanna join me? Thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass it. Say blood, huh? No. Just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah. Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Eddie he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You? You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you want to give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. And he's going, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus Christ, was that you? Vito? Oh Jesus, why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done, you think I'm enjoying this? Okay, 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 what happened with Luca? It's done. All right, how about our guys, you find them? Yeah, Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead, but balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh... Interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so whoa, of Luca's bodyguards hey, who ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me. We're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right, <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you worked for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together, just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in, too, when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't got to say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, 
Know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family. Or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. Amico nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And it's you might wonder why I'd take this risk again after spending almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after it's years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Some cash, so let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old. I'll let the good times roll. Man, I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty. What are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man Vito. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <sighs> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ's this. Sake, put it away, now! Okay, What's the matter with okay. You? You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? 
I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. All right, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we going to get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you want to wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. <laughs> we'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. Let's go. <clears throat> Move it. Oh. 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 Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, that, the... Oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue, and the plus, and the plus, and uh, the red. Perfect. Okay, the hard part is almost over. Ah, <sighs> uh, that's it. Okay, got it. Take us up a bit. Payback's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. These assholes ain't gonna know. Whoa! Jeez, oh, my. Whoa! Oh, oh my God! Fuck it in! What the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew. We'll barely feel it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Ah, what the? Jesus yes. Christ, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. It felt like a fucking earth. What the, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Lucky bastard. You assholes! You're gonna Fuck, die for this! Get away! Come on, Vito! Marty! No! No! Fuck! They shot him! He's dead, Vito! Joe, Joe come on. We gotta Fuck get out of here. You can't help him now. Clemente's getting away. Let's go. I'm gonna kill that fuck. That's the end of him. Can't be sure unless we check. This is for Marty. Now it's
it's over. Let's go to my place. You want a beer? Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. All right. This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Okay, okay, what about Clemente? Done. All right. Hey, don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry! All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too! Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well, just give me a minute to get changed. Oh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. Ah, oh, Vito, you here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door, and just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh. Heh, <laughs> right. You drive here? Nah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty. I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <clears> sorry, <throat> kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened! Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. All right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just... Call me tomorrow, okay? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Hey. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who worked for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? <laughs> All right, go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Yeah, take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, 
I'm out of work right now, and I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. Dead bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. Leo! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shove Leo, this Leo, up put here. it away! It's me, Vito! Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, us. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with okay, you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting them. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit, Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Vito! What the hell are you doing here? All right, take it easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know Eddie was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him, you gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and will have me killed. Damn it, Henry, I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Leo, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Vito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. 
Just make sure nobody sees you leave. This one, pal. What? Hey, kid. Leo. You want a drink? What the hell happened? Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Frankie, what, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, what? <laughs> he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito! Please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to you. Where is he? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? To the rest of you. Got it? Vito, it's Francesca. Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Fido. I, I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Just just 